We're back with the wine making series that we're doing here on YouTube. Uh, at the start of fall, we did a grape, a Concord grape and blueberry batch. And we decided to add this one um, and have a second batch going. This has rhubarb in it from my yard and also raspberries from my yard. And then we had some other frozen berries, cranberries and strawberries and some blackberries from the store. So I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm pulling out the, the air stop here, or the, the CO2 release. And we're going to open it and see it's been nine days. This was last Friday that we, we had put this in here. For those who are following along, you can check the other videos. So here we go. It looks pretty similar. Oh, it smells good. Um, it's, it's pretty similar to the other batch as far as how the berries are kind of floating at the top. So what we're going to do here, maybe I should stir that around and just kind of see for the consistency of it. You don't have to. Yeah, so this is what we're dealing with. We're going to um, take our, our mesh bag here and we're going to get this to run through here with the, just pour, using the measuring cup and a bowl, squeeze it out real good. And then we're going to get the, uh, what, what is primarily just liquid into there. Um, it's going to have to sit and then all the fine particles will have to go to the bottom and then that'll be the second filtering. Okay. So I'll put you on gloss and we'll be back in a little bit. Hi again, we have uh, the transfer done, all the solid materials out of the, the bucket, well, other than just some seeds that are at the bottom there. And this one turned out a real, well, they both have a real pretty color, the grape one and this rhubarb berry one. I've not tried this yet, but it looks and smells delicious. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that is really good. You know what this, you know what this reminds me of? This is like transporting me back to like maybe about 1880 where the, the grandmas and stuff were making the rhubarb pies. It's really good. I, I almost want to call it a rhubarb berry pie wine. Oh, I'm going to enjoy that glass. Um, so now we just let this sit. The first batch, the, the CO2 has been really has been slowing up a little bit. And that's been, I don't know, maybe three, three weeks so far. On that one but it is still releasing so the yeast is still working and uh this is going to be this tastes very holiday-ish very christmas season-ish so i'm hoping that i'll have some of this for my holiday parties that i'll be going to and um once we once we get one of these one of these babies um filtered where the the sediment on the bottom we're going to filter out we don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but we're just watching what the, the seals are doing and how much it's releasing. And then when it stops is probably when, when we're going to do that. Um, am I forgetting anything else to say? All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.